Hello, my name is Katie and I'm a diabetes dietitian and through a series of videos I aim to show you how to calculate the carbohydrates in the foods that you eat. This will help you to manage your diabetes, improve your blood glucose levels and hopefully build flexibility with what you eat and when you eat. To find out the carbohydrates in foods we need a carbohydrate reference. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Carbohydrate Counting Reference Guide. So here is my serving of breakfast. We have a glass of orange juice, 200ml which has already been measured out, two servings of Weetabix with 200ml of milk on top of that. So let's take a look in the reference guide together and see if we can work out the carbohydrates in my serving of breakfast. So if we turn to the contents at the front of the book, we can see that the foods are listed in categories and also in alphabetical order. As you can see here, we can find breakfast cereals. We can also find milk, dairy and dairy desserts and then fruit. So we will be able to find the foods from my breakfast serving in here. So firstly, let's take a look at breakfast cereals. As you can see, Weetabix is listed here and the carbohydrates have been calculated per biscuit. Now we have two biscuits in our bowl. Per biscuit, there are 13 grams of carbohydrates. So if we times that by two, that calculates 26 grams of carbohydrates in our serving of Weetabix. Secondly, let's take a look at the milk. Milk is listed underneath the categories of milk, dairy and dairy desserts. As you can see here, milk is listed and calculated in our portion which is 200ml and it calculates carbohydrates per portion of 200ml at 9.6 grams of carbohydrates. So those two calculations are pretty easy to find. Finally, let's take a look at the orange juice. Orange juice is listed underneath the fruit category. And you can see underneath oranges, you'll find orange juice. A typical portion size has already been calculated for us at 200 ml, which is actually our serving. Here they have calculated that in 200 ml of orange juice, there are 17.8 grams of carbohydrates. But let's make this a little bit more difficult. Let's pretend our glass is actually 300 ml of orange juice, and let's try to calculate that together. So to calculate this, we need to refer to our calculation. Carbohydrates in reference food divided by weight of reference food times by the weight of my serving. So carbohydrates in reference food would be 17.8 divided by the weight of the reference food, which would be 200, times by the weight of my serving, which would be 300. This would give us 26.7 grams of carbohydrates. And that is just a reminder that we can always use that calculation if our serving size is different to that listed in the reference guide. So using the reference guide, we have been able to calculate the carbohydrates in my breakfast. Together, we have found that there were 26 grams of carbohydrates in my serving of Weetabix, 9.6 grams of carbohydrates in my serving of milk, and 17.8 grams of carbohydrates in my serving of orange juice. This totals 53.4 grams of carbohydrates in my breakfast. So in this video, we have showed you how to use the reference guide booklet and also how to refer to the calculation if we need to, if our serving isn't listed. Why don't you have a go and use the reference guide to look up some foods that you usually eat?